Hey everyone! Welcome back to Baking and Cooking with Sarah. So, as you can see, today I'm going to be making these so, so good, delicious, chewy oatmeal raisin cookies. These are seriously so good. I love them so much. And I just, I always make this recipe. And honestly, I feel like you should too. So, yeah. Alright, no more talking and let's just get right into the video. Okay, so first off, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So first step is you're going to add 8 ounces of raisins to a small bowl. And now, you can really just use any type of raisins. You can use black raisins, green raisins, golden raisins, red raisins, really any type, um, just as long as it's raisins, obviously. Um, and yeah, and then after that, just add in some hot water to your bowl. Then in another bowl, add in one and a half sticks of unsalted butter or 12 tablespoons and make sure it's at room temperature. After, add in one cup of light brown sugar. And mix with a hand mixer or stand mixer at low to medium speed. After you're done mixing and everything's fully combined, add in one large egg and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then continue mixing for about two minutes. And then in another bowl, add in three fourth cup or three quarters a cup of all purpose flour. Then add in a half teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of um, ground cinnamon, and an eighth teaspoon of fresh nutmeg. Use a whisk and whisk until it's all fully incorporated. <laughs> Then add in three cups of rolled oats and fold slowly. Then while mixing with your mixer at low speed, slowly add in the oats and flour mixture little by little. should be done and pulp and juicy at this point, so use a strainer and strain out all the water. Make sure to also lightly press on the raisins just to take out any excess water. Then add your raisins to your cookie dough and use a silicone spatula to just combine it all together. With a scoop, add your dough to your parchment paper. And if you don't have a scoop, or if it gets too hard to get out of the scoop, then make little balls with your hands and press down on them slightly.
add your baking tray to a preheated oven and cook for around 10 to 14 minutes. Now I did lose the clips, but make sure to let your cookies dry for around 10 minutes on the parchment paper, then move to a wire rack and let it dry completely. And that's all for today. Enjoy!